all right guys so as you guys know i got like plenty of like frames and spare parts so i decided to build this hardtail kind of like an xc spec hardtail with basically the frame and the extra parts that i've had laying around but i needed some new tires for the rear so went on amazon and actually found these tires that i got for like 20 dollars they're basically billy goats and uh 30 tpi fold uh folding and uh aramid uh type of bead so i got these on right now and uh i think the thing that we got to do now is basically test it and see how well it does so we're gonna take the bike out over to the fullerton loop and uh see how well these tires perform let's go yeah, I'm not gonna go too fast today. <clears throat> Actually, this the tire rolls really good, dude. Yeah, surprisingly, the tires were they roll really well. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah. Photobomb. I'm nah, just kidding. It's fast rolling. See how it does it with braking grip. I worry about the durability though. Yeah, we'll find out. What are you going to find out if you keep driving? Well, I'm just planning on doing miles today. It's not really like, like doing anything crazy. Fast rolling. Grip seems to be all right. Probably be even, be even faster rolling if I had XC tires too in the front. Um, it's a 42. Yeah. 30 and 42 seems to be a good number. It's like fast enough to do what I needed to do. Plus enough, uh, I didn't want to go bigger first, I was like, I didn't want to come up with it. Yeah, oh, that's understandable. You go first. I'm on Gotta have a good grip on the DFS.
So what's surprising is these rear tires actually provide pretty decent grip, dude. These Billy Goats. And they roll pretty fast. I mean, with the tread pattern and everything, they do roll relatively quick and they are pretty sticky. Even for a 30 TPI, I think maybe the compound that they use is probably stickier. However, I do have a worry about their durability because they are extremely thin, dude. Like cardboard thin. Like, I'm not talking about like the cardboard box thin, but like like poster board thin. Um, and the fact too that they are like a softer compound, like obviously they're gonna wear out a little bit um, faster compared to like other tires at least, you know? But so far, I mean, not bad for $20. Oh man, I need to get a dropper post on this thing, dude. Like seriously. Let's go. Ah, so bumpy. Ooh, that's bumpy. Huh? Yeah, I'm just waiting to see. Make sure there's not people. Huh? I'm just waiting to make sure there's no down? people. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Dropping. On your left, thank you. Ah. And there's people blocking the jumpway. Forget it. Seat's too high, dude. Way too high. Yep, dropper post, next upgrade for sure. Oh, look at that little drop. Man, I always forget about that one. <laughs> oh man so clunky and drops
<laughs> you see how clunky the derailleur is? Or do you hear the derailleur clunking? Huh? You hear the derailleur clunking? Yeah. It's not bad, but clunky for sure. Hey. It's a little kicker. Jump there. Fortunately, there were hikers setting directly on top of the kicker. <laughs> All right, dudes, this is pretty much a conclusive video today. It was just a nice chill ride. These billy goats actually surprisingly did pretty well for a you know, $20 tire. They are grippy. They're fast rolling. I mean, they're an XC tire, you know? But question is longevity, right? Um, you know the sidewalls just everything about it is just really thin and uh you know i'm afraid to really push it like further um but you know that's the thing though i mean it's an xc tire you know it's just for easy riding basically you know and super duper light duty <laughs> trail riding but uh for 20 dollars, i mean it's not bad it's not a bad deal if you guys need something that's you know foldable or whatever and are in a pinch these are definitely good. I mean, I don't expect them to last like 800 miles, 1,000 miles or so. But they are good enough at least for the loop. Um, small features of the loop. Uh, but anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, definitely hit me a like and subscribe. Next video, or some of the things that I'm working on right now is actually I'm going to be e-biking the Gary Fisher again. Uh, like I did before. Because quite frankly, I do like having an e-bike to use uh, for those long days or for like if there's features that I want to hit multiple times, like at Santiago Oaks or something, uh, the e-bike is definitely good for that. And although it's not a full suspension, it is a hardcore hardtail. And I realized that, hey, if I could ride a particular feature on a hardtail, I'm sure I could ride it on a full suspension. But anyways, definitely hit me a like and subscribe. And until the next adventure... Peace out, guys.